Hello, I'm Ross from RWA Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble my TIE Pilot chest box. So, uh, doing it for the finished result like this pretty much. Okay, so first of all, let's get these other bits out of the way that we don't want for the minute. In my kit, you will get yourself a top and a bottom. You get eight donuts in or an outer. You'll get the little square which does the sticker there, you'll get the line sticker for underneath here, you'll get three switches, you'll get two blue, grey and a white square, a white and a red button, aluminium greeblies to pop on there, couple of cogs, these are soon going to be available in aluminium as well and slightly upgraded from what they are at the moment. And a piece of plastic for your joint and strip. Uh, this is the standard variation that will come unless you specify that you want different switches uh, or different button configuration. So just let me know on that. Right, so first of all, we need to mark our top and bottom boxes. Now these corners are quite fragile where they're tight, so we're going to need to mark about 70 mil on this top part. So the top part is here, the smaller face is facing front, top, rear. Okay, so all the way around here, we're going to mark just about 70 mil, so 70, 71 and then we'll draw a straight line all around. I've put some pre-made little marks just to save me time from farting around. Okay, so they go all the way around, straight back at the sides. This one's not so crucial because it sits up inside. So probably around about from that little ledge there, you want to come up 20 sort of two mil, 20, 22, just to give yourself a bit to bond on. So again there, just draw your lines all the way around. I say this one isn't too crucial because it's hidden up inside. All this stuff has protective film on it, so you need to peel off when you're gluing up afterwards. Right, so these bits are ready to do now. Do these with a Dremel or a cutting disc. Because if you try and come into the corners with the Lexus scissors, you'll end up splitting up there. It'll just go. So you want to nip all the way around there. I, I do that bit with the, um, the Lexus, but you can do it with this all the way if you want. Oh, the special goggles. So I'm nipping into the corners. Probably about 15 mil. So we're going to do that with the same. Careful, we don't overcut the corners. We'll lose those bits there. that one. A bit more careful on this uh, top one. I've already pre-cut these to save a little bit of time. So it's just again the corners.
that's so those bits sorted. Now I'm going to go back onto my Lexans. You probably notice that this protective film is quite scratched. None of the usual stuff like this, that's why that's what I'm using as a, a demonstration. But it's all very good underneath still, so don't panic. So now I'm just going to run along with my Lexans, just nice now. And then this can be cleaned up with sandpaper, so just making a really nice edge. But the only edge it's going to show is this front one here, so this is the one that you need to pay most attention to. So there, so when you've got it all cut like that, let's say that's all sorted, you can clean that out, spend a bit of time on it with your sandpaper, just cleaning nicely. This one again, doesn't really matter much because it goes up in size, so I'm just gonna wham this one off. Just uh, peeling back a little bit of the film, if I can get this fingernail underneath it. So you can see this one is the acrylic cap, so you see it's got quite a nice shine on it. So as I say, film is just uh, a little bit scratched on these. Right, so when you basically got your two hours like this now, they'll slot together. So. That's the front bottom, and that's the front of the top. So that will just slip inside there. Yeah, make the box. But we need to secure it first. So what we're going to do with a piece of plastic like this, you're going to cut yourself wherever I put mine. Two of these with a round bottom. And these are 64 by 135 with a curved bottom. These will sit straight inside there. Okay. Uh, they have protective film on again, so watch out you don't E6 cells and that to there, otherwise it won't bond, it will just flop off. So when you got to this stage, you want to pop them inside there. Obviously, this will all be cleaned up, it's just a run trim at the moment. So then mark yourself your line of where this is sitting. So I know that's there. E6000, nice little blob all around there. And then with your magnets. You wanna pop one at the bottom. And at the top I use a couple of these little clamps. I wanna be quite strong. And get one on there. And then, see this, you wanna squeeze it almost a little bit. Because where it's in the mold, I've got a slight taper. So squeeze it and then clamp it. So it holds it tight, that'll make it easier to slip on the top half. So you want to glue both sides up like that. That one with this one, same principle. Leave that uh, overnight with the E6000 to go off. Once that's done, you'll be left with this situation. So this is one that I glued up earlier. So that's all ready to go there like that now. So now these two, so as it was before, just slip together nicely. And where I've pinched them, it goes together a lot nicer. So, just pop them on. Now you can stick those together by putting a drop of E6000 under here and underneath there, just setting them up to go off again and underneath there. There's several ways you can uh, align these. Make sure it's parallel there. Total height of your, your box wants to be roughly about 160 mil. Yeah. So uh, you can also cut a hole in the back if you want, if you want to work on it from the inside with magnets to, to glue up this part, that's you know entirely up to you. So basically now, say we're gluing this up and we're popping the donuts on. So the donuts, you're going to get eight of them. I've pre-cut and pre-drilled most of them, so you haven't got to watch me doing the whole lot. So this outer ring at the top with a hole in it for the pipe, this one's going to be about 15 mil. So I'm going to mark me 15 mil. I'm going to run all around there 
that's ready to trim. So this is an inner donut. These only want to be small so they don't interfere. So we'll make them about eight mil. They're just literally just for a bit of location and so you don't lose your donuts. So about eight mil on the inners. And then this is the lower one. So we're gonna do that about 11, 12 mil. Mark that round. Again, Lex and scissors, if there's excess on there when it comes off of the, the main piece, trim it like small first so that you've got like just a little bit left because it peels away a lot easier. So then you can just work in and work around following your line. And then when you're around the whole way, you can finish it off with sandpaper. So put a bit of sandpaper on a flat desk and just rub it till you're nice and level. So do the same with that, with all three of these. Sand them up and then you'd be left with that. Take off the protective film so they're nice and shiny. So then basically we want to drill a four mil hole in the inner donuts. So they get drilled in there and we're going to set them up on the side. This one wants to be probably sort of six mil away from the bottom, six to eight mil. From the top it wants to be about 10 mil. So set them up, put your, your pinpoint of where you're going to be popping in there. Then we'll be four mil drill from the rivet again. I'm going to take a box apart and do this actually. So, so we pop them on there. Same the other side. I've pre-marked these just for a little bit of time. Right. So now, as I build them, I would do all this as one. So we glue all this up, put some glue, probably inside so it don't smudge. Check that we're the right way around. Front, front. Glue in there. Pop them together. And then set up our donuts. So I'd use the rivets. There will be rivets in your kit. I forgot to put them on the thing earlier. So E6000 around the bottom of these to make a nice bond. Then rivet that one on there. And the same with the, with the top donut. Again, E6000 right around the rim. And stick them on nice, rivet them in. And then when they've gone off, it doesn't matter if you drill, drill out the, uh, the center because the E6000 will have got it. So then you'll have your, your bottom donut when these have gone off. Let me just get that rivet out. So when those are stuck on now, bottom donut, E6000 around the inner there, and that just slips over there as good as gold. That's ready now for your, your cog. Now these, I say that I've got to upgrade these slightly and I've got some aluminium ones coming hopefully, so you can just stick them on there. Check your reference for angles straight. Top, got your hole in there. You can either mount a magnet in there or, or stick this on, drill a whole lot straight out so you can pop your pipe in, working from inside, it's yeah, entirely up to you. So that's kind of like a bit of a, however you fancy doing your connection for your hose. So do that same both sides, glue them on, let that go off. That's that section out of the way. Then face, all you've got is your, your three switches. So again, I do these as a standard kit or you can get your, I do these. Uh, There's another version with that style of switch. So just tell me if you need different ones. So these go about dead center and probably coming in 10 mil with minimal gaps in between them. Once they're painted, you can glue them on with E6000. And uh, where's my other little white pip? There it is. So on this box configuration, we're going gray, white, gray, and then there's two little red spots painted at the bottoms. These here, see so they've got, these ones have got a little uh, stem on them. So you can drill a hole and these wanna line up with the top of the, the joints of those two. Drill a hole and pop them in with a bit of E6000. So that's them sorted. You'll get your squares and your sticker. So sticker, that just sits central for height. You probably wanna come in about eight mil from the side. So again, with all my other stickers, you peel off the, the back in first, pop it on and then remove the front. So that will stick there. And then you've got these again, which you can stick on with E6000. 
So we're going to go grey, white, and then the two blues. Again, there's other configurations. I do d different colours if you need them. So stick them in with these 6,000. While this is all going off with these 6,000, keep an eye on it because sometimes things shift. So you can just keep making sure that they're all sitting correctly in place. And then, where have we got? These last two little aluminium greeblies. So we're gonna pop one there and one there. Check your reference of the box you're doing because sometimes this, this is uh, turned slightly differently. So pop them on. E6000 again glue. That's that bit sorted. Your line, get that in my kit. That wants to stick straight below this ridge line, about 20 mil there. Sticker on, sorted. And then, okay, it's just the hose connection into these. So you can do that with magnets or to drill and slot it in. Entirely to you, I sell these as well. These are nice and rubbery, so it's good for trooping. Right, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Cheers.